Hello, my name is Belinda Ugalde, and I have the pleasure of presenting the story of one of Mexican print shops that has remained faithful to the craft of letterpress. In the city of Jalapa, at Imprenta Enlace, typographic posters have been printed for more than 40 years. Their distinctive aesthetic has contributed to the confirmation of the visual identity of popular festivals and events in cities throughout Veracruz and neighboring states. This is likely to be the last printing press of its kind in the state and one of the few still operating commercially in the country without the use of digital resources. The posters that we will be seeing are not only an example of contemporary Mexican vernacular graphics, they are also a small sample of the work of two lives devoted to letterpress printing. I would like to begin by highlighting the importance that letterpress has had in Mexico for the construction of the visual language of Lucha Libre. Compositions with varied fonts, color gradients, and ornaments have managed to integrate with their images to the point of adopting the aesthetics of the printing system as their own. Since its recognition as a sport in the 1940s and the elevation of the figure of the wrestler, as a national hero in the 1970s, Lucha Libre in Mexico has continued to evolve and with it the graphics of its posters. Despite the influence of offset and digital media in the creation of new proposals, Imprenta Enlace still uses movable type and printing blocks. The work retains some stylistic features of the posters once printed in small towns, but has been enriched with the use of bright colors and backgrounds. However, the production of Imprenta Enlace has not been limited to meeting the needs of this sport. They have also been able to create endearing images for popular festivals, as well as venturing into themes that attract other audiences. It is very common to find posters at bus stops or in public spaces that announce festivities and dance parties, or to see textures produced by layers of them. Posters from Imprenta Enlace connect with the passerby. The popular phrases address the public, the colors shout out at them, and the images bring smiles to their faces. But what is it that has made it possible for their posters to remain valid in an age that is increasingly digital? The answer may be found in two circumstances. The first could be the traits of this part of Mexico where the printing press is located. The state of Veracruz is made up of several regions, numerous municipalities and towns. All have different cultural features and expressions according to their geography and history. In this coastal region of the Gulf of Mexico, indigenous, Afro-Mexican, and mestizo cultures coexist in a variety of climates and landscapes that go from the tropical sea to the high mountains. Languages, dress, food, and music will often change radically from one town to another despite being only a short distance away from each other.
This results in communities with a defined identity and a high sense of belonging. In this context, dances, religious festivals, wrestling and other amateur sports represents an important part of their social and economic life. This diversity as well as the attachment to tradition and celebration are probably key factors in the demand for posters that share their aesthetic and essence. The second circumstance that has allowed the preservation of this visual tradition is Esteban Romero's persistence to continuing to work with a trade that once seemed to be destined to disappear. At the age of 12, Esteban started working as a shop sweeper for a local newspaper. He says that the first time he saw the presses, he knew that this was what he wanted to do in life. Over time, he learned to compose with movable type as well as to operate and maintain the presses. For more than 30 years, he worked in different publications until new technologies began to displace letterpress printing. When this change came about at the newspaper where he worked, management proposed that Esteban stay and learn how to use the new equipment or terminate their employment relationship in exchange for some machinery and supplies as compensation. Without hesitation, he accepted the second offer so that he could open his own print shop. Among what he received are two American Babcock presses that are over 100 years old. Stevan says that from the beginning he loved those machines and did not want them to end up being sold by the kilo as scrap metal since they were in working order. And so the presses were moved in parts and reassembled in their new space, next to his house. In addition to the presses, Stevan was paved with wooden, metal and plastic type. He also received, but later sold, a linotype machine, a roller-proof press and a Chandler and Price press. With this equipment, he was able to establish his own workshop in the early 1980s. At first, he partnered with some journalists to produce a weekly news publication that they named Enlace. However, despite their best efforts, it did not remain profitable for long and shut down. One day, a local businessman asked Stevan to make a poster for a dance event, and despite having no experience in the subject, he accepted the commission and developed his own proposal. The client was pleased with the work, and since then, thousands of posters' designs have been produced. This is how Stevan was able to find a lucrative market to continue working with his letterpress shop. In 1993, at the age of 15, Juan Carlos Romero began working with his father at the family business. Juan Carlos grew up in the world of type, ink and paper. From a very young age, he was interested in what was happening in the workshop. He watched and learned by helping out in his spare time. 
He says that even though it was not what he had imagined as a profession, he has found his calling in poster design. Joining his father in the shop not only guaranteed the continuity of the project, it has also brought on a stage of experimentation and growth. This example is one of the oldest works that they still possess in which Juan Carlos first collaborated. His interest and creativity are evident in the design of the word Latina. Juan Carlos is currently in charge of the printing press. Esteban has retired but still helps out when needed. He speaks proudly of how clients prefer his son's work, since his designs are more appealing. When you enter the Enlace shop for the first time, it is surprising to find these beautiful relics operating commercially. With these presses, up to 15 posters are produced per day with a print run of 100 copies each. The larger press can print 27 by 37 inches and the smaller format is 18 and a half by 25 inches. Because of its affordable cost and ease of pasting in public spaces, the smaller size is the most requested format. Therefore, the larger format press is used mostly for printing poster backgrounds, while the other one is used for typography and images. This layout allows for a more efficient workflow. Usually, the backgrounds are printed in advance with different color options to choose from. On special request, the backgrounds are tailored to the needs of the poster. Juan Carlos begins by composing the type using the information provided by the client. According to their instructions, he determines hierarchies in the text, incorporates images, lines and ornaments. Once he's happy with the layout, he will fill in the blank spaces with furniture. This process happens in a matter of minutes. Once the composition is ready, it is transferred to the press and runs a test print to verify that there are no errors. The colors are usually used for the text and image are black and red in gradient. The ink is modified according to a secret formula that allows it to stay on the press for days without drying. Finally, with the text checked and the color background chosen, the poster is ready to be printed on a paper that is called Revolución. It is cheap, thin, and absorbent, although a bit fragile. In combination with the ink, the print dries almost immediately, so that when leaving the shop, the posters will be ready to be pasted by the client. The posters can be entirely typographic. Posters such as the ones for religious festivals and Lucha Libre are usually very descriptive and require the use of several fonts to complete the text. The type behaves as a texture that covers the, so the surface of the paper. It may or may not have color in the background. 
Sometimes the posters are illustrated with figures that have a touch of humor and the charm of Mexican vernacular graphics. These images take advantage of the gradient colors of the background and come to life. They have a collection of printing blocks made mostly by Juan Carlos, and he will make new ones at the client's request. Many of the figures and images are cut by hand in a synthetic leather. The shop also has some zinc plates that have been acquired over the years. One of the most frequent requests is the reproduction of logos for musical groups. Some bands are just starting up and do not have an image that identifies them. In this case, Juan Carlos offers the design service and creates logos from scratch. He particularly enjoys this type of, ass of assignment since he likes to listen to his client's music while he works. Usually, the client gives him some ideas that Juan Carlos translates into forms. Among the resources he uses are outline typography, square or irregular shapes, 3D effects and shadow. Like the illustrations, these designs are thought out to take advantage of the background color. To date, Juan Carlos has designed hundreds of logos. When the customer is a regular client, the printing block is preserved, and if not, the leather cut out is removed to reuse it. Juan Carlos knows where each block is and can easily find them. To fabricate the printing blocks, the design is first glued on the back of the leather to make the cut as faithfully as possible. It is then turned over and attached to a chipboard base with contact glue. Next, a print test is done to verify the reading and finish. As in many other letterpress shops, both sides of the printing blocks are used. Another distinctive element of their posters is the design of dates and titles. Although they have the necessary fonts to cover their needs, the introduction of these design elements emphasize the information. The use of these original designs provide greater strength and contrast to the compositions. In addition to names, dates and titles, it is also common for some town names to be printed in this fashion. The sum of the above results in vibrant posters that capture the attention of the viewer with powerful type and colors strategically dis distributed to highlight the content. Also, a certain order and rhythm can be perceived. It can be said that the posters of Imprenta Enlace are closely related to the signs that are painted on walls around town to promote popular dances, parties, and concerts. The direct link between the two are the logos of the musical groups, but coincidences can also be recognized in the prominence of the dates and the use of color. As for the wording of the text, you can recognize the rhetoric of radio ads in sentences that promise that the event will be great and unmissable. 
When he finds an empty space, Juan Carlos introduces phrases that speak directly to the viewer, such as, if you love her, take her dancing. Occasionally, the poster type setting has to allow the coexistence of diverse contents, as in this example, where a religious event such as a representation of the Via Crucis alternates with a war of DJs. The wording captures very well the ability of Mexicans to combine fiesta with religious traditions. For the background, the ink can, be, can have intense coloring or be less saturated so as to achieve a washed coloring effect. The second option is the most often preferred by customers. In addition to the classic gradient basis characteristic of his letterpress printing, Juan Carlos has, has experimented with more complex backgrounds by introducing shapes. In this example, you can see the variations achieved by incorporating a star made by two printing blocks. With this technique, different registers produce multiple results thanks to the sum of colors and transparencies. Also, some attempts were made to use photo-engraved plates as a way of attracting bands who wanted, who wanted their image to appear on the posters. However, the results did not convince them and they found that the customers were not willing to pay the extra cost of the plates. So, when a client wants their image to appear, Juan Carlos will solve it with his interpretation of a high contrast photograph. These examples show a detail from a, rock, a local rock group poster. In addition to the posters dedicated to promoting dances, Lucha Libre and festivities for patron saints other common themes are the celebration of national holidays, such as Independence Day and the Day of the Dead. Also, Imprenta Enlace often prints posters for amateur sports events, such as boxing and baseball. As well, as posters dedicated to health issues, workshops, and schools. The shop prints for a variety of clients. The example on the left was made for a 2008 cultural festival held by a citizens group in protest of the privatization of the national oil industry in Mexico. Candidates, politicians, and political parties occasionally organize popular festival of wrestling events to attract voters, such as the case of the poster on the right. Imprenta Enlace has attracted artists wanting to incorporate the shop aesthetics into their own projects. The poster on the left was commissioned by the Universidad Veracruzana for the billboard of its film club called El Ring. Beside it is another poster requested by the photo archives of the city of Veracruz, made to promote shows that presented works on Lucha Libre, the Virgin of Guadalupe, and the Golden Age of National Cinema. Sometimes a kind of collaboration is carried out when the artist has a predetermined idea of or graphic. However, 
Juan Carlos prefers to work privately and hardly ever allows anyone to enter the workshop. So the end result is always a surprise for the client. Don Esteban and Juan Carlos know that some clients prefer offset printed posters, since this system reproduces photographs and logos with greater fidelity while incorporating new effects and styles. However, they believe their work is an art form and trust that clients value it as such. Currently, due to the pandemic, business is slow at the print shop. While waiting for festivities and other events to be able to take place regularly again. Thanks to this pause in production, they have had the time to open their space to us and to share their story. Their posters belong to the streets. The success of their work is due to a love of letterpress, their people, music and traditions. The endearing aesthetic that characterizes them is alive and continues to connect with several generations. Esteban and Juan Carlos are proud of the path they have chosen and take joy in knowing that their clients leave the shop happy. On behalf of the Romero family, I wish to thank you for your interest in this talk and like them, I also hope they will continue making posters for many years to come.